hello guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be moisturizing my hair and styling my hair at the same time if you're new to my channel please kindly hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button turn on your post notification bell so that each time i upload a video you'll be notified so my hair is looking kind of funny right um, I had to section my hair into smaller section because I'm going to be doing mini braids. So I have divided um, section it into smaller section just to save time. So this is what I'm going to be using my water. Uh, that in there I have ginger and cloves water, and then my oil, of course my shea butter mix to seal in the moisture so i have videos of all this how i made them i'm going to leave the link on your screen so that you can just um, after watching this video you can go ahead and watch those videos also so i have my clip but i might not be needing it then my pattern tool just in case i need it to assist me here so i'm going to go ahead and unravel each of them one after the other moisturize it and seal in the moisture so it's easier for me this way then i go ahead apply my spray so like i said what i have in there is ginger and cloves i added a little bit more water just to dilute it more uh, so i'm going to go ahead and spray this all over my strands then all over this section work it in and also finger detangle a little bit so my hair is freshly washed and also detangled um, so what I'm just doing is just slightly separating the hair just to avoid any you know tangles as I you know try to style my hair so after applying the water I'm making sure that it's touches my scalp also because of course you want to moisturize your scalp and massage the water in so that it can penetrate better and then also i go ahead to apply my oil so i'm very i'm very generous when it comes to my oils like guys these oils have saved my hair and this is what i've been using for um two years now since i started my hair journey so I love to use oils to do pre-pull, to moisturize my hair and also, you know, to seal in moisture. So um, applying the oil, I'm also massaging it to my scalp because guys, you need to moisturize your scalp also and also seal in the moisture. So um, after slightly uh, detangling my hair, I'm going to go ahead and do the third step which is the cream so i've applied my liquid my oil so now it's time to apply my cream to seal in all that moisture so i'm going ahead to do this and also take note that i'm starting from the ends of my hair and working my way all through to the top um, to the roots and also um, finger detangling as i go along after doing this i'm going to just um, go ahead and braid this section so braids you can also call it um, plaits and this is just a form of twisting and uh, just like you have two strand twists you also have three strand twists the only difference is that this is actually a three strand twist and not a two strand twist i'm not making the plaits tight they are very loose i'm not very very loose but at least i don't feel any tension on my scalp because that is what most people do uh, you might think that you're installing a protective style but if you end up making it too tight on your scalp to the extent she don't feel comfortable then it's not protecting you're not doing any protective style you're rather um, damaging your hair so what i'm just doing here guys is just applying a little bit extra of the oil and the cream 
to the ends of my hair so that is a very fragile part of our hair is the oldest part and they need much more love and care um, than the rest of our hair so as you can see and uh, this is the size of my uh, plaits so I'm going to go ahead and uh, repeat the same process for this um, next section so the reason why i said uh, make sure to moisturize your scalp uh, guys moisture is the liquid water it can be water it can be hairspray it can be your living conditioner because your living conditioner also contains water the first ingredient is water so you must first apply water before trying to seal in uh, the water with your oils or your butter so it's either you're doing the lock method that is the LOC or you're doing the LCO method but um, make sure that your first ingredient is water because that is actually the moisture that you're applying to your hair before sealing the moisture in with your oils and your cream so you can't go ahead and just apply oils and cream to dry hair it's not going to work it's not going to work guys moisture is the water so apply a lot of water uh, work it in to make sure that your hair absorbs it properly before you now seal it in with your oils and your butter so i'm just going to do this all through the um the sections that i have like right, guys this is what i do to retain moisture especially in this winter period and of course our daily activities going out and coming in and all that you have to re-moisturize your hair don't neglect your hair as soon as you feel that your hair feels dry you want to make sure to re-moisturize your hair before that so and also moisturizing your scalp the reason is because a lot of people complain about itchy scalp if your scalp is dry you're going to itch your scalp is going to itch your scalp is going to be uh, flaky and your the roots of your hair also are going to be fragile and you might have your hair shedding um, much more than necessary so i will go ahead and do this off camera because guys it took me roughly about six hours to install this mini braid so i can't do that on camera it's going to bore you guys so i'm going to go ahead and do this off camera and show you guys my end results so this is it guys i'm done and this is my result my hair is looking good and just like i said this is a long-term protective hairstyle i'm going to be keeping this for at least a month that is four weeks and guys my patterns are not the best like they are not so clean so neat but guys kudos to myself like i tried <laughs> i really tried i never get my pattern straight or maybe because i don't try to just get it straight i just make sure to install whatever style i want to do and just be done with it so they're all the same it feels great so I, this is me just trying to get different uh, postures of my hair and all that just playing around guys <laughs> so that's the end of today's video and I also like to put my hair in a ponytail because guys you can't leave your hair like this if you're going out or doing stuff um, well I don't know each one has their own way of protecting their hair but this is how I protect my hair and also keep it moisturized for days like for days because I'm tucking the ends of my hair in you're not going to see the ends of my hair this has also saved me from having split end and knots single strand knots because this was the issue i had last year 2022 i had a lot of single strand knots a lot of uh, split ends so i had to uh, trim my ends more often because i had a lot of single strand knots so keeping my hair this way has saved my hair from having split in a single strand knot 
so guys that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so and also click on the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you'll be notified please do engage me also in the comments let me know what you think about um this long-term protective hairstyle and what you feel uh, is the style that works best for you thank you guys for watching um i'll see you in my next video Thank you.